Can somebody explain what the luteal phase means? Oh, I can. I just asked the girl on a date and she said no because she's in the luteal phase. Please go to the gym. I'm dead. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm dead. And I don't understand why you guys turn in the werewolves. <laughs> Excuse me? It has come to my attention that in some corners of the internet, the phases of the menstrual cycle have taken on almost a astrological sign form of existence. Should you date that guy? I don't know. Ask your menstrual cycle. Should we make a baby? Or maybe it's time to get a divorce. Ask your menstrual cycle. Now I've covered the phases of the menstrual cycle and how hormones interact to create your menstrual cycle at depth in other videos. So I'm not going to rehash all of that here. We're going to go through some TikToks that reference various phases of the menstrual cycle. I'll try to add in some scientific backing or not if it doesn't exist. And we're all going to have fun while accidentally learning something. Can somebody explain what the luteal phase means? Oh, I can. Should we let him finish? Then we'll let him finish. I just asked the girl on a date and she said no because she's in the luteal phase and to try again when she's in the follicular phase. I'm not great with astrology. I don't really know the zodiac signs. I didn't even know those were signs. Can somebody help me please? So the luteal phase is the time from when you ovulate up until the day before your next period starts. So if you look at this here, starting about day 14, that's just, they just use that colloquially. It's everybody doesn't ovulate on day 14. From that point to on this calendar, 28, so cycle day 28, that would be the luteal phase. This is the part of your cycle where progesterone is higher and people tend to feel a little bit less like lovey-dovey than they do in the follicular cycle. And there is biological basis to that. So I'm sure there will be a video that talks about the follicular phase and ovulation portion of the cycle. But yeah, simple definition of the luteal phase is the time from ovulation occurring until the day before your period starts. And it is when most of us feel a little bit more sensitive and a bit less energy than usual and definitely not getting all of those really intense lovey-dovey feelings like you get right before you ovulate. I was just leaving the gym and one of the employees as I was leaving gave me a fist bump and I'm just thinking like, yeah, let's go. And he said, I'm so proud of you. And I, I stopped, I said, oh my gosh, thank you. I said, what makes you say that? And he said, cause girl, you are here nearly every day. And I was like, I know that's right. And then, we should have honestly can't relate. Should have stopped there. He should have stopped there. He proceeds to say, and you're a woman, right? I'm like, mm, okay. And he says, you're a woman, which means you come here when you're in your luteal face. <laughs> and I just, I said, sir, did you? Yes. I said, did you just learn what that was? And he goes, yes. And it was, uh, it was hilarious. That is so funny. And you can tell that she's telling a real story. I do not know what I would do if somebody said that to me. Well, nobody would say that to me because let's be honest, I'm not going to the gym in my luteal phase or any other phase. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Uh, healthy exercise is healthy for your body. Please go to the gym. Anyway, I think that's really cool. And I can only hope that my children grow up shocking people by saying things like that because my nerd brain loves it. <laughs> But in all seriousness, most people do feel like they have a little bit less energy in the second half of their cycle during the luteal phase. And it should be commended if you are keeping up with your typical routines. However, it's also really important to listen to your body. And if you're just not feeling it at certain points in your cycle, then give yourself permission to switch it up and do something that your body feels a little bit more happy to participate in. I'm alive. I'm looking at you. I'm dead. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm dead again. <laughs> run faster than a bitch to run. That is so funny. I want to watch it again. I'm alive. I'm looking at you. I'm dead. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm dead again. <laughs> run faster than a bitch to run. I really like that one. And it does give a pretty decent overview of where people tend to fall on the spectrum of energy and mental health and feelings throughout their cycle. And I like that. I like how it was used in this video. I don't have anything exciting to add, but when she falls on the ground, like I felt that, that that's how I feel as well. I need somebody to explain to me how they know when they're ovulating. <gasps> I can explain to you, we track our cycles or we just use our body's signs and signals or. And I don't understand why you guys turn in the werewolves. <laughs>
Excuse me? I've never been a werewolf uh, when I'm ovulating, I don't think. I will pay closer attention next time. I've never understood that joke, and I've been too afraid to ask about it, but I have to stand up now because I know I'm not the only one that doesn't understand why you guys are turning on the werewolves, okay? I think I must have missed that day of med school because I didn't know that either. You just, your body's just like, you have to get pregnant right now. <laughs> It is, honestly, sometimes overwhelming. <laughs> Which kind of sounds, quite frankly, exhausting. Your body's like, get pregnant or you're going to turn into a werewolf. <laughs> Why does he keep saying that? And you're just like, no, I can't do that. And I do know what it is, like, scientifically, but I don't know what it feels like. Ovulation typically, for most people, doesn't feel like anything. However, some people can get something called middle schmerz, which is a, I think it's a, is it? Is it German? <laughs> I don't know. It sounds German. <laughs> Sorry if you're German and I'm wrong. It is a word that means middle pain. And I've never quite figured out if it's middle of the cycle or middle of the pelvis, but middle pain. Because some people can feel their ovulation occurring. And a lot of times people will get like a little bit bloated or just feel a bit uncomfortable. I can tell when I'm ovulating, but part of that probably comes from how closely I've been tracking my cycles for about the last decade. And then you just kind of start to pick up on, oh, yep, yeah, every time I feel this or that, that's when I'm ovulating. <laughs> I was filming a day in the life video and got caught by that damn period butt cramp that attacking me. If you're a female, you know. Yeah, sometimes people can get lots of pain in like the rectum area during period or ovulation in some cases. Everybody doesn't have that. And it probably depends largely on a few factors. One being the way that your uterus kind of leans or sh is shaped. So the uterus typically is something called antiverted, which basically means, hang on, I love this. 1969 linen printed depiction. Okay, this uterus, can you guys see that? I don't even know if it's in frame. Is it in frame? I'm gonna turn my camera a little bit. Okay, this is the uterus, bladder, and bowel to anus. So this uterus is antiverted. So see how it goes like this and then it tilts forward towards the bladder? That's antiverted or forward tilted. But they can also be midline like that or less commonly, but still not that unusual. You might hear people say that their uterus is backwards or tilted backwards. And that's when instead of going up in that way towards the bladder, it goes up in this way towards the rectum. And you might be more likely to experience the phenomenon that she's describing if that's the case. Hopefully I got my framing back where it needs to be and haven't like cut my head off in the video. Another thing I just wanted to add on this is that this can also sometimes be a sign of something else. If it happens in isolation here and there, it's fine. It's probably not anything that you need to worry about. But if it's happening frequently, if you have pelvic pain a lot, especially pelvic pain that's interfering with your ability to live your day-to-day -day life, if you're having lots of pain with bowel movements, particularly if it worsens during your menstrual period. These are things that sometimes can point towards endometriosis. Everybody who has what this person is describing does not have endometriosis. It's a whole constellation of signs and symptoms that would need to be addressed to call it endometriosis, but it can sometimes be more likely in people who have endo. So just something to be aware of and bring up with your doctor if it's happening a lot. I hope that you learned something today. If you did, leave me a comment, tell me what you learned, and let me know what other topics you'd like to discuss. I'll see you next Monday.